Cooking is one of life's many joys to the people of Dillydale. They enjoy preparing a delicious meal, no matter how much effort may be needed. They enjoy cooking for themselves and for others, even the trickiest of foods. So we salute the Mr. Men and Little Misses who take to their kitchens with a love for cooking. Welcome back to Good Morning Dillydale. And a good morning it is, too. Isn't that right, Miss Sunshine? You bet, Mr. Happy. I can't remember a more pleasant Tuesday. Of course, we have enjoyed a few Wednesdays from time to time. We sure have. Oh, and those Thursdays. Now those were fun times. Wonderful times. What do you say we check in with Miss Calamity and see what she has cooking for us today? Good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. It's our pleasure. Hey, is that fish I smell? That's funny. I smell clams and octopus. You're both right. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a seafood stew. Ooh, wonderful. I love seafood. Me too. I see food and I want to eat food. <laughs> ha ha. Then you're really going to want to eat this stew. Well, I'm certainly not going to want to wear it. Uh, Miss Calamity, <laughs> should the pot be doing that? It smells delicious. Oh, look out! That lid's gonna blow! Oh, no, wait! Oh, give me a... Get back! Oh, octopi! Oh! Oh! What a calamity! And what a wonderful stew! Maybe I can wear this stew after all. I don't know what went wrong. Well, that's it for today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Good, Good Morning, Morning Dillydale. I don't know how I let you talk me into coming to Miss Naughty's restaurant. Here are your salads, Mr. Grumpy. Why don't you and Mr. Quiet get started on these while I get the bread? Oh, oh, is, oh what's that doing? It's a bug. Oh, gross. Yep, it's a fake plastic bug. Another one of Miss Naughty's tricks. Whew. Miss Naughty needs to spend more time learning to cook and less time playing tricks on people. <laughs> Did you enjoy the salads? Oh, yes. It was delicious. It was? Well, I'm not rude. Oh. And here is my famous browned bean loaf. Mmm, looks very tasty. Oh, yes. It's especially good with my homemade ketchup. And what, and cover up all that flavor? Then you try it with ketchup, Mr. Quiet. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself. Mm, Ugh, this bean loaf is like chewing a dirty sponge. Does need ketchup after all. Hmm, better, but still not good. How was my bean loaf? Best I've ever had. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Quiet? Time for dessert! Well, that's my favorite part of any meal. Yes, and this dessert is unforgettable. I call these chocolate boom-booms. Enjoy them while I get the tea. Oh. Well... The sooner we eat, the sooner we can go home and watch TV. It's a tasteless glob of chocolate. <laughs> oh, crooked cucumbers, I'm going home. If I wanted to wear my dinner, I'd have gone to Mr. Messy's. But wait! You haven't finished your boom boom! Keep your boom boom. And your bean loaf. I was trying to be nice, but truth be told, you are quite possibly the worst cook in Dillydale. <laughs> I know the worst and the naughtiest. <laughs> ah, 
Oh, boom, boom, bad. I'm not a guy who dresses in the kitchen, I just let it flow. I may spill a little, or a lot's not a riddle. By the way, it's worth the show. My back is itching in the kitchen, come on. You know you want some more. I cook with soul when I make a jelly roll. I can get it all on the floor. I'm hardly tidy, cause I only clean on Friday. I don't like it, I must confess. Y'all know my name, and don't you forget it. I'm the one they call the big man. Baking a cake, I'm making a big man. Spaghetti, I'm making a big man. In the meatloaf, I'm making a big mess. Mac and cheese, I'm making a big mess. Bonjour, class. That's French for hello. I greeted you in French because today we shall be preparing a French meal. Escargot, canard à la orange, and for dessert, crepe Suzette. I don't know what you're saying. That's French for snails, orange duck, and pancakes on fire. Okay, I've eaten the occasional banana slug, but I draw the line at snails. And I go to the park and talk to the ducks. I talk to the squirrels, too. They talk back more than ducks and sometimes share their nuts. But still, I don't want to cook anything I can talk to. Pancakes. I don't really like flat food. You should have all thought about that before you enrolled in this cooking class. Now, onward. We will start with the crepe batter. Lay it on me, Mr. Persnickety. I'll hit it out of the park. Hey, batter, batter, hey, batter, batter. Not that kind of batter, Miss Whoops. We will be making a light, fluffy crepe batter, which will produce crepes that will melt in your mouth. Now, first, we take one cup of flour. Um, excuse me, what if my mouth is dry? Will the crepe still melt in it? Uh, I imagine so, Miss Chatterbox. Uh, next, we add a tablespoon of sugar, add one cup of water. Do you have to measure everything? Yes, Mr. Messy. Even the water? Yes! What if you spill some? Uh, you don't. You must use great care to measure accurately, as well as keep a tidy kitchen. This cooking stuff is not for me. Why does that not surprise me? Now, where was I? Um, you were about to light some pancakes on fire. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Persnickety, please come to the office! Mr. Persnickety, to the office, please! Oh, I wonder what that could be. I'll be just a moment. Now, while I'm gone, don't touch a thing in this kitchen. Understood? <laughs> what do we do now? I mean, we can't just sit here and watch the batter get cold or anything. We should just cook it up ourselves. How hard can it be? I'm with you. Give me some of that crepe batter. This stuff? Whoops. Now we need to make the orange sauce. Shazam! This is my kind of cookie. <laughs> yeah! No! <Yeah. laughs> this doesn't look right. What did I tell you, people? I leave you alone for just a moment. You are going to clean up this mess. Clean? I don't know about you, but I'm not liking this whole cooking thing. Me neither. Hey, let's go see if there's still time to send up for pottery class. Au revoir, Mr. P. That's French for see ya. Hi there, Miss Helpful. Can I help you find something, Mr. Scatterbrain? I don't suppose you sell ovens, do you? I seem to have misplaced mine, and I have these pickles to cook. Sorry, we don't sell ovens, but we do sell instant meals. Ooh! All you do is add a little water, and in seconds you have yourself
yourself a delicious meal, complete with dessert. I'll take them all. Okay, that's the last of them. Now, let's see. Oh, just add water. <laughs> I sure hope they grow fast. I'm hungry. Oh, goody! Hello there, Mr. Small. Mr. Nosy. Good tidings, Mr. Scatterbrain. These instant meals are just delicious. Mind if I join you? It's your house, by all means. I think somebody needs a tickle.